Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to outline images for YouTube thumbnails using Adobe Photoshop. Okay let's go ahead and open up the web browser so we can download a picture. So I'm going to use this particular image. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description so you can use the exact same image as well or you can choose a different one if you like. Let's just drag this to the side and we'll open up this folder and we'll just drag and drop that picture into the folder here. Okay, so the goal is to just draw this outline. So if you look at some YouTube thumbnails, sometimes you see like a white outline around the image and we can do this in Adobe Photoshop. So let's close down this picture and let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. I've got a blank canvas here. It's 1280 by 720, which is the YouTube thumbnail size. And all we do is drag and drop the picture into this blank canvas. Okay, we need to use the pen tool to draw an outline around this picture so we're going to use the path right so we use the pen tool and we'll make sure path is selected here and then we'll hold down the alt key on our keyboard so we can zoom in and use the mouse wheel to zoom in we just want to draw a little dot here first this is like our starting point and we're going to trace around the image and then use that path to create the outline so let's just start drawing around this image or drawing these dots to outline the image and this doesn't need to be super accurate because the thickness of our line will be quite, you know, the outline will be quite thick. If you make a mistake and go slightly off, you can hold down the control key and use the left mouse button to realign the dot, right? So we just go around here. When we get to the camera, we really want to try and, um, you know, draw some curves around this camera. So to draw curves, all you need to do is, let's just do that again. We'll just hold down the left mouse button and start dragging around the edge like this like this right and we can hold down the space bar and use the left mouse button to start moving around the canvas as we draw around this particular camera lens right so we do something like this and we just keep drawing around this camera lens if you make a mistake or you're not happy with something just press ctrl z to undo that step and you can continue um, tracing around this image so like i said it doesn't need to be super accurate just needs to be quite accurate so that we can outline the image and I'm going to do this pretty quick normally I'll take a little bit more time to be fair but we don't want to make this tutorial too long so we'll do this quite quick so we'll just go around this image when you get to sort of hair it's a little bit more tricky but I'll show you how I'll deal with that in this particular picture if you draw two dots and you want to realign something just hold down the control key you can move that particular dot into another position. Hold down the space bar to pan around the canvas. So you hold down the space bar and use the left mouse button to just move around the canvas as and when you need to. So when we get to hair, we'll just kind of try and stay on the outside of the hair. Um, and again, you can just adjust this slightly. And don't worry about the little strands and stuff. We're not really gonna pay too much attention to that. Um, the more dots, I guess you create, the more accurate your outline will be um, so we'll just go ahead and outline this quite quickly and then we can use the um, path here to create a selection that's what we want to do and we'll probably change the background anyway so I'm not too worried about the background on this particular image so Let's just move our way down here. Sometimes it's worth zooming out a little bit to see what's going on in the picture. But this hair is pretty straightforward. Um, normally when I get down to here somewhere, I might zoom out a little bit just to see what's going on in the picture. Um, sometimes a little bit more difficult to see. So around here, I think I see what's going on. This is a part of the shoulder, right? So you need to be a bit more careful here. This is where we need to start rounding off the edges slightly. So you can see it doesn't take too long to do this. It's not the most accurate. I'll probably spend a little bit longer doing this. All we want to do now is just hold down the Alt key, use the mouse wheel to zoom back out then we can hold down the space bar to pan the canvas just want to join these together so now we've got this paths uh, joined all as one object or one element 
Okay, so we created the first path here. We want to actually create another one inside, so we want to cut out this middle section as well. So let's go ahead and hold down the Alt key, and we'll just zoom into this section here where we want to cut it out. And we can use the space bar and the left mouse button to just pan this around. And we're just going to start creating a second path, right, on this same layer. So this one is pretty quick. Let's just undo that. This one's going to be pretty quick as well. And remember, our line weight is going to be quite thick, so we don't have to be super accurate with this. And this shouldn't take too long. Okay, and then we should join it down here. So once, um, let's just do that a bit cleaner. So we've got two paths now on this same layer. You can see there's a there's one on the outside and one on this inside. So we want to select both of these paths. So we'll hold down the shift key, hold down the control key, the shift key, and then click on the other path. Now you can see they're both selected like this. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see that a bit clearer. So we've got the inside path and the one going on the outside. We need them both selected. So hold down the shift, the control key, the shift key, and left click to select both of them. Okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, create a selection using these paths. Let's go to window and we'll go to paths here and it'll take us to this path tab and then we're going to select this option here. This will allow us to create a selection from those paths. So let's click that and now you can see these little marching ants for the selection. Now we'll go back to layers and inside layers we're going to click on this layer and then create a layer mask based on that selection. So now we can see the cutout, right? So everything's been cut at the background and the inside here. Okay, next thing we want to do is just create a blank layer. So we'll go ahead and click on this option here to just create a new blank layer. Let's just double click in and call it background. And then we just want to go to unsplash and download some sort of image for a background. I've already found an image that I like, this one here. I'm just going to click download. I'll put a link to this same image in the YouTube description. Let's open up this folder and we'll drag and drop this picture in here as well. And let's close this and let's go ahead and open up Photoshop again. And we just want to drag this background into the canvas here. So we've got the background. Let's drag it below so it sits behind. And then we'll click on that background. Let's go to the Move tool. Let's select it. Hold down the Alt key so we can just grow that background out here like this. And then we'll click on this top layer. And now we just want to outline this image. So let's just double click on that image and go to stroke. So we'll click stroke and now you can see the outline. And we can change the size of the outline. I think something like this would be pretty cool. And you can change the color here. So if you want to change it to maybe sort of a purple color or a pink color, you can play around and experiment with that. And you can change the size as well. I think we'll stick with white and we can increase the size and decrease the size. So you can have like a nice thin outline, something like this. So you see a lot of these outlines in photo, in uh, YouTube thumbnails. Um, and you can move this around. You can reposition it maybe to somewhere like around here. Maybe bring it down a little bit. And you can write your text in here. And this will make a nice little YouTube thumbnail. Maybe you do a photography channel. Maybe you're doing something like that. Uh, you can experiment and play around with it. You can also click on the background. And you can go and adjust that as well. So you can maybe do something like, um, let's go to layer. Let's do a new adjustment layer, maybe something like hue and saturation. Let's click that and we'll apply it to this layer only. And then in this saturation, you can increase that or decrease it. You can almost grayscale it out or you can increase it and you can change the hue. You can maybe change the colors, make it a bit more vibrant, make it a bit more different. So the thumbnail pops out quite a lot, right? You can play around and experiment with this. But the goal of this tutorial is really to show you how to outline that image. Now, Photoshop is non-destructive, so you can always go back and click on this double click here again. And once you've got that background, you like what you've done, you can click on stroke here. And you can adjust the thickness, right? You don't have to um, stick with one design or one style. You can experiment and play around with it. You can do inside, right? So position, you can position it inside of your selection. You can position it on the center line. Or on the outside now, depending on how accurate your selection was um, normally I would probably stick with something like um, either center or on the outside I think outside will work pretty well because our selection wasn't too bad right it worked out pretty good 
and here you can change the color you can experiment with this now you can turn off stroke and you can turn on outer glow and you can have some sort of glow effect here you can click on this you can in increase the um like the the spread here and also the size so you can have like a nice sort of glow effect as well and remember this is all non-destructive so you can just switch between the two you can have both of them so i like sometimes i like to have like an outline and then this glow applied as well you can change the spread so you can have it sort of glowing like this and you can increase the size a little bit so i think that looks pretty cool something like this just click on here and then we can change the this color schemes here i think that looks pretty good the only other thing you need to do is really just add some text and maybe a little logo or something like that and then you've got quite a nice little thumbnail that you can use for your youtube so that could be a picture of yourself um could be anything really we've just taken two images here just to give an example so let's go ahead and go to file save as should always save our work i should have really started done that at the beginning but uh, it's fine and we'll just call this outline dash zero one so we've got our photoshop file here now and let's just export this go to export export as and normally i would upload a jpeg file we leave it at 100% compression, that's fine, or maybe we'll, we'll set that a little bit lower to 90%, click export, and then we can save this as well. So we've got a nice little thumbnail, all you have to do is add your text to it now. Let's save this, let's close down Photoshop, let's just see what we've done here today. So we've got our original Photoshop file, so we can go back and edit that afterwards. We've got our background here, that's what we started with, then we've got the image that we cut out, and now we've got the image with the glow edge and the outline now because we've got that original photoshop file we can go in and we can remove this middle section if we didn't like it or we can go and retrace this afterwards or we can change the colors as well so that's how you go about drawing an outline for your images on youtube thumbnails using adobe photoshop i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial